The first thing to think about in this question is the ratio between uh, the masses. So that would be M1, the mass of the, uh, the full-size steam locomotive, divided by M2, the mass of the, the smaller steam locomotive. We can't really deal with mass and length, so, but we can, we can say that if this has a uniform density, which we know it does because it's all made of iron, that we should be able to uh, say that that is the same ratio as that of V1 to V2, where V is the volume of each of the two models. Now imagine a locomotive here is a perfect cuboid. It's not, but that doesn't matter for our purposes here. If we were to halve each dimension of that cuboid, this would end up with something like this, a small cuboid sitting inside. Now the volume of this smaller cuboid sitting inside is not going to be just twice that of the bigger blue rectangle, it's actually going to be eight times smaller. It's going to be two times smaller in this direction, two times smaller in this direction, and two times smaller in this direction, which means it's going to be two to the power of three times smaller, or eight times. Now, if we were to reduce each of these sides, not, not by a half, but, but to, the, to one third the length, then the, dif the, di the difference between the volumes would be three cubed smaller. So we have this cubic relationship between volume uh, and length, which means that we can say, looking back to our equation over here, we can say that V1 over V2 must be equal to the ratio of the cubes of the sides, where L1 is the length of the full size model, and L2 is the length of the scale model. Let's plug some numbers into our calculations here. So uh, we know the mass of this full size steam locomotive is 6.5 times 10 to the power of 4 kilograms. And we know that the mass of the scale model is only one kilogram, and that's going to be equal to the length of the full scale model, which is 10 meters cubed, divided by L2 cubed, which is what we're trying to find out. So let's rearrange this now to get L2 cubed equals 10 to the power of 3, divided by 6.5 times 10 to the power of 4. Which we can simplify a little bit if we if we call that 10 to the 3 on the top and 65 times 10 to the 3 on the bottom. That means we can cancel our 10 to the 3's and be left with L2 cubed equals 1 over 65 which means that L2 is going to equal the cube root of 1 over 65, which is the same as saying the cube root of 1 divided by cube root of 65. And we know the cube root of 1, that's 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So 1 over the cube root of 65 we don't know the cube root of 65, that's not the sort of thing we have in our heads, but we do know the cube root of 64, uh, which is 4 times 4 times 4. So we can say that's approximately equal to the cube root of 64, which will give us an answer then that is 1 divided by 4, or 0 0.25 metres, which matches our answer C here of 25 centimetres.